I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior. We are talking about the blessing of brokenness and we are looking at the life of the patriot Jacob. And the Bible has told us in the book of Genesis chapter 32 that Jacob in from verse number 24 wrestled that night with an angel only in the daybreak to realize that that angel was Jesus Christ himself. God's breaking process reveals to us the power of the flesh. It reveals to us that there are things within our flesh that God must get rid of. God crippled Jacob in order to make him. And I am saying to someone today that God will break you in order to make you. God will cripple you so that he removes your self-dependence, so that he teaches you that when he touches you, you cannot fight with him and overcome, so that he teaches you that when he comes in your space and he fights with you, it is not because he is, he is trying to prove anything else, but he wants to show you that when he fights with you, you are no match for him. And when God fights his battles against you and me, just know that it is because of his love and care and mercy that he allows himself to be in a battlefield with us. But otherwise, God cannot fight with men. God cannot wrestle with men. And God is not ready to wrestle with us, but it is because of his kindness and mercy that God wrestles with men. You see, God wanted to show Jacob the power of self-will. If you have ever wrestled in your life, I know many of us when we were growing up, they, as, as kids, as boys, or even as men, or even as girls, we will at time wrestling with other girls and other boys just to show, just to prove how much strong we are. But right here, Jacob, as we meet him, we find that as he's struggling there with God, it's only by daybreak that he realizes that this was no ordinary fight, but it was God himself who was fighting with him. And he says to him, now that he realizes that day is breaking and it is the angel of the Lord that was fighting with him, he says, I will not let you go until you bless me. I am saying to you, have you fought with God? Have you sought for the blessing that belongs to God? Because there is a blessing in your breaking. God wants to break you in order to make you. God wants to break you. God wants to cripple you in order to teach you that you cannot depend on yourself. You cannot trust yourself. You cannot trust the things that you used to do, but you can only trust what he is able to do in your life. And when God comes in your space and he has broken you, you have learned what it means to depend on him. May God bless you. May God help you that you may know that dependence in God is the greatest thing that we can ever experience. That when God has broken you, you know that you cannot even walk. You know that you cannot even run unless you learn to lean on him. And what others looked and saw as crippling to Jacob, it was leaning because leaning is the greatest thing that we can ever do when we are depending on on Jesus Christ. And may you be blessed as you meditate on this message. May God bless you and may God be with you. Amen.